Filled with all the lines today. You've heard the saying, good fences make good neighbors. And then there's the new saying, no fences make angry customers. Problem solver Rob Wolchek explains with this Hall of Shame investigation, Rob. Ruben Taran, the customers I spoke to say they really like the lady that runs this company. They trusted her. Boy, were they wrong. Hi, Laura. Rob Walchuk from Fox 2. This is fence company owner Laura Dietz. Laura may like to change her appearance a lot, but one thing that doesn't change, according to the cops, Laura taking deposits from her customers and not building their fences. The only thing I can believe is she took our money and ran. She had never pulled a building permit to install a fence, so she honestly never had any intention of putting a fence in. When could she put the fence in? Every time I see Laura, she's either going to court or going to the police station. So are you going to be able to pay these people back, Laura? But according to Laura, it wasn't always this way, or was it? This is now the grand um, unraveling, so to speak. So you think she stole your money? Yeah, I do. I do. I really do. Steve just wanted a fence in his Macomb Township backyard. He hired local, Dietz Fencing, also in Macomb. The owner, Laura Dietz herself, came out to measure and give him an estimate. Steve gave her an eight grand deposit on the $14,740 job she bid. Then Dietz went off the radar. And $8,000 is a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. You know, I... Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the wrong time of the year, the wrong time of my life, I needed that money. Well, yeah. 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 Everybody needs eight thousand dollars. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so Steve went to the sheriff's department to file a report, and they already knew her name, which was another red flag, and made my stomach drop. The cops tried contacting Lost Laura as well, but even they didn't get a response. And every time I called her, I texted her. I got nothing in return. Kim gave Laura a $2,200 deposit way back in March. When summer ended and she still had no fence, Kim filed a report with the sheriff's department as well. And again, the cops had a hard time reaching Laura. The deputy states, I tried calling the business line for Dietz Fence, but received no answer and was unable to leave a message due to the voicemail box being full. Then there's Terry. She also gave Laura a deposit in March. She had a fence, so rickety it was held up by pallets. She needed a new one fast. But when she was supposed to choose her fencing, she got this text. Hello, Terry. This is Dietz Fence Company. Our sales rep called in today and we're wondering if we could reschedule. Terry replies, sure, no problem. But it was a problem that kept on repeating itself for months. She goes, I'm gonna call you on the 11th for an installation date. The 11th came and went, nothing. Terry never got a fence, and as you can see, her old fence is still being held up by pallets. How much did you give her? I gave $7,500. Jason trusted Laura so much he paid her in full, up front. Bad idea. He's got no fence. We told her perception is reality, and unfortunately, our perception of Dietz Fence sucks, and we believe that they conned us out of money and took it and ran. With Sam as Jason's neighbor, he thought since Jason is getting a fence, he would too. Gave Laura $2,800. But instead of sharing a fence, these neighbors are sharing a miserable experience. You're taking money from my family. This is my, my kids' money that you're taking away to do, I don't know what you're doing with it, but it's not right. Then there's Corinne. She has a, a habit of making things very hostile in a way that most people are not used to. She actually had communication with Laura and actually got a fence. But the gate was garbage, and Corinne says Laura even agreed. Corinne says Laura promised someone would be out in the morning to repair it, but no one showed until seven hours later. We left to go to work because we had missed work, skipped work for nothing, we felt like, got home, and the gate was gone. Here's the security cam video. The gate's gone and never gets back. Corinne and her fiance sued and won a judgment. They say Laura hasn't paid. But that's the least of deadbeat Dietz's problems because she's been charged with four felony counts of taking money under false pretenses for some of the jobs she bailed on. She's pled not guilty. I finally catch up to her on her way into court. So what happened with your fencing company? You can talk to my lawyer. Okay. What happened with this fencing company? She's got a whole bunch of people that said that, hang on for a second, can you talk to me? No, thank you. All right, well, there's a whole bunch of people that she took money from, and 
I'd sure like to get some explanation. Laura and her attorney head inside to take care of some pre-trial business. Maybe she'll talk to me on the way out. So Laura, you gotta give me something. What happened with your business? She's, she's not gonna discuss. The only thing I'll tell you is that we're paying the people back. That's where we're at. We're not gonna discuss the case any further, okay? Paying the people back? Well, that's news to them. Laura, why didn't you ever communicate with those people? Maybe there maybe you wouldn't have gotten in so much trouble and had these people so mad at you. I mean, I mean, I talked to a guy, Jason. He, he paid you $7,500 in full, and then you just ghosted him. Why did you do that? We've been in communication with people. We're not going to discuss He's any further. He's been paid back some yeah. of his money. Let's go. Jason says his credit card company refunded some of the money. No help from Laura. But for some reason, his neighbor with Sam got a refund. But he's the only person I know. Terry Drinker, Steve Jenkins. Did you pay this with Sam back? Yes, I did, actually. Yeah, I, I, I know. I heard that. So how come he got his money back, but the others haven't? All right, bye, Laura. Bye, Laura. Hello, Hall of Shay. Now, on Friday, another felony charge was added to Laura's list. She now faces five counts of false pretenses. Laura Dietz has pled not guilty. Even so, her lawyer says she's planning to pay everyone back. I never got any explanation as to what happened to all that money. Ruben Taran.